Tim, welcome to Watch One, and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Panerai Radiomir 1940 Oro Rosso PAM 513 42mm in 18 karat 5N red gold. You can see this Radiomir 1940 on our website, watchyouwant.com. Take it home if you like it, and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now you can see on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. This is a Panerai of a different color. Red gold, yes, but beautifully proportioned. 42 millimeters and only 11.5 millimeters thick. This is the one to wear with a suit. If you want a Panerai that's ready to go toe to toe with Vacheron, Jezur Le Coult, maybe even Audemars and Patek Philippe, this is your watch. Now you can see that it features Panerai's 1940 case, which debuted in 2000. 12 and sort of does for the Radiomir model what the 1950 case did for the Luminor. Namely, it's sort of a version 2.0. It has stronger crisper creases in the right places, but at the same time, compound curves that add a little bit of sexiness to it. And you can see that in the double step of the case flank. There's that crease at the case flank. Moving up, there's another step around the conical bezel. And that's why I say this is a great one for a suit, because not only is it more elegant, but functionally, it's actually a far easier match for a tight sleeve or dress cuff. Panerai goes the extra mile here because not only is it a sexier case, but with these stronger post-1940 style historical homage lugs, no longer the welded wire style, but the integrated burly style, it has more masculinity as well. Strong, thrusting, and well-defined. They add visual muscle to this Radiomir 1940 case. And in combination with an unusual alligator leather strap, most Panerai's rubber or calfskin, it really is the picture of elegance and refinement. Now, I don't know if you can see in the light box here, but this is a brown rectangular scale, contrasting stitched alligator leather. So it's definitely the standard in the dress class. It's what you would expect to see on JLC, Audemars, Patek, Vacheron. You don't expect to see calf on those lizard. You expect to see gator, and you expect to see gator with a little bit of bolster, and that watch has it just a bit near the lugs and then tapering off so it's nice and supple around the underside of the wrist. Gorgeous dark brown calfskin on the bottom, very soft on the wrist. There's your caliber P9999. We'll get back to that in a moment, but I want to continue and just terminate with the pin buckle. Now, this is a smaller model than your typical Panerai oversized trapezoidal pin buckle. This isn't designed to fix it to the wrist of a frogman. This is designed to maintain a low elegant profile, but beautifully built. It's the same 18 karat red gold as the case itself. Likewise, beautifully finished on both sides, no unfinished surfaces. Upscale, refined, elegant, perfect. But the centerpiece of this watch is the case and the dial combination. And we talked a little bit about the 1940 case, and its red gold tones are so strong the Panerai needs a consonant dial image to essentially back it up without clashing, and that's accomplished. First and foremost, you can see from case and dial, unmistakably a Panerai. You can see that no element that would instantly read as Panerai to the diehard Paneristi has been omitted. Rather, elements have been added. First and foremost, you can see those gorgeous 18 karat red gold hands, hours, minutes, and seconds. Second, you can see that it's a beautiful sandwich style dial in the Panerai tradition. So a fully loomed disc with a stencil of the indices and numerals on top. But the luminescent material itself, the Super Luminova, is a sort of acru or light brown simulated radium patina. Now while this is an historic homage, paying deference to the vintage Panerai military watches that have faded to this patina over the years. It's also quite functional from an aesthetic standpoint because it pairs beautifully with the brown leather, the red gold, the 18 karat hands, and the tobacco brown, almost chocolate sandwich dial color, and the gilt style printing. This is a beautiful, fully realized, and beautifully spare, elegant image. I do like the absence of a date in this case because while I typically prefer a date on my watches, especially sports watches, for a watch that's geared towards refined dress, upscale taste, and simplicity, as well as, quite frankly, historical homage, the absence of a date really works here. And leaving this date at the bare minimum, or rather this dial at the bare minimum, I should say, with the possible exception of the useful small seconds, actually increases its power rather than detracts from it. Now, likewise, increasing the power and appeal of the watch is the caliber P999. This is a special caliber that has essentially elevated Panerai to a new echelon 
Whereas it wasn't necessarily a credible player in the dress watch and the thin watch market before. With the manual wind P99, Panerai finally gets there. 60 hour power reserve, beautiful finish in every respect. There's a sort of linear parallel dressage brushing across all the bridges. All of the wheels feature a radial brushing. The screw heads are beautifully polished and reflective, and a classical pocket watch style swan's neck regulator. Let me see if I can get the light to catch it there. You can see it really well. Not only looks the business with high polish, but it does fix the regulating index in place so that shocks and disruptions can't accidentally move it and change the timing of the watch. So it does have a little bit of a sports watch functionality as well. Now, as I mentioned, 60 hour power reserve. So that means that not only are we far past the industry standard 42 hours of autonomy between windings, but when you do want to wind this watch, it's going to be an occasional pleasure, not a constant daily chore. Only 154 parts and 19 jewels. I will say that nevertheless, this watch accomplishes more part for part and jewel for jewel than almost any movement in the Panerai catalog. And that's because this in-house movement being manually wound has no winding rotor, it has no winding system bridge or reversing wheels to block your view of the basic movement elements. It's like a case study in watchmaking. You can actually follow the energy from the mainspring barrel through the train wheels straight to the escapement and the balance. It's crystal clear and it's, again, like the dial, beautiful in its simplicity. You can see, and if you like, you can buy this Panerai PAM 513, the Radio Mir 1940 Oro Rosso on our website, watchyouwant.com. It is the total package, a fascinating, elegant movement, a gorgeous, classically styled dial, an immensely beautiful red gold case, beautiful strap, spare pin buckle, and of course, still 100 meter water resistant, that's 330 feet. If you put it on a rubber strap, I know. Who would do that? Who would deface the watch in such a fashion? But nevertheless, it is a Panerai. It's designed to get wet. It's designed to play rough. Just don't knock it and maintain its good looks. And this watch will serve you in almost any situation, from the pool party to the pool table to the ballroom. You can see this PAM513 on our website, watchyouwant.com.